Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana and I'm an illustrator and designer. I'm also a former landscape architect, but that was in an older life. So basically, I'm a creative and this channel is all about my creative life as I am in the process of finding new things, including my new love, ceramics. So this is a passion of mine that I just started, but I've been wanting to do ceramics for such a long time. Actually, I lie. I didn't know that I wanted to do ceramics. I knew that I loved ceramics, but I didn't know the breadth of ceramics. And a couple of months ago, um, at this point I would say about three months ago, I went with a friend to a ceramics class and I fell in love, in absolute love. I have been thinking about ceramics ever since. I have been uh, teaching myself ceramics because I didn't really like the class. So I did find another class that I'll be starting later on in the year. But for now, I've been teaching myself ceramics, uh, hand building ceramics. And I've been reading and watching videos and buying videos and buying classes. And I am so excited. So this is going to be showing you most of my YouTube channel will be about uh, me as I build on this ceramics journey because my goal is to start selling them as soon as possible. And so I am ready to start showing them and I am ready to push them and to show you what I'm going through and what I'm learning as I'm learning it. Okay. So today's video is uh, basically a tray that I made and I painted. To tell you the truth, uh, me and this timeline of ceramics, I think it takes me a long time to prepare the materials more than anything else, but the goal is to get it and, and start working with it. So if I have to do it 10 times, 20 times, 100 times, two years, three years, 100 years, I mean, not 100 years, but like a long time, then so be it. So for today's video, it's a tray and it's illustrated. So let's get to it. So for rolling out with the pin, the people online that I watch always make it look very easy. And I guess they've been doing this for years, but I've never done this. I've never had to roll out anything for bread or I don't even know. I'm not a big like person that has to do with that type of thing. So I never made pasta, none of that. So for me, I'm just like, what the hell? Basically, I never played with this stuff. I never played with, with Play-Doh, I never played with, um, with dough, with, with uh, like any of it, none of it, none of it. I've never rolled out cookies and, you know, I, I'm learning everything as I go. And it's, it's, it's challenging because I would love to just have the same knowledge that I have as an illustrator. Like give me a, a marker, forget it. Give me a, a pencil, forget it, you know? But give me clay and I'm just like, what? It's so pliable. It's so different from what it is that I do. So that's the, that's the biggest challenge. I think about it all day. I think about all the possibilities of it, but my skill level and my thoughts are at two different points right now. So right now it's just imagination and practice. And when I'm going to be an expert, I'm going to be like, right now I'm like, uh, all right, so I think I like this thickness. It's a little bit, it's not exactly the six, I think it's about seven, but I like it because it feels a little bit thicker than the second piece that I did. And um, this thickness, let me see, what can I do? I said I wouldn't do anything that's this, but if I did choose to do it, but then it would end up super small. Mm, what can you even put on a tiny tray? Like keys. I never like things that are tiny in that size. Like this is a, 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 um, a candle that my sister gave me and I love it because she gave it to me and also because it says luck and it's small. But I never know personally what to do with small items. 
even though I have a lot of like very little things that I collected over the years, because I find that when you use them in a space, they don't make enough of an impact to be by themselves on something, but at the same time, like they're cute, but then you have to like make them be with things, right? So I'm trying to see if doing this, like if I do this piece and I cut it, like how much because i could technically do it and fit two but no i can't even fit two so actually no i'm not even going to do that because what's going to happen is i'm going to have a tiny a tiny tray that's even tinier than this and then um, I, then i'm going to be like uh it's going to be difficult for me to decorate it and nah. so what i'll do is i'll actually go in I'll remove the top part because it's kind of awkward and then I'm just going to take whatever is left to make the rectangular uh, tray. Then I'm going to just let it rest for an hour. Okay, so the first part of um, the ceramic is done. I did the plates and then I let them set in plastic for, now it's been about two days. No, it's been three days actually. I meant to work on it um, yesterday, but I had other things to do, so I put them aside. But, so I've been watching a lot of videos about slip and painting with slip uh, slash under under glazes um, that are you know it's basically a slip that's colored so it's an underglaze and it's usually done on um, on greenware on leather hard clay or on uh, greenware clay and um, we can use it on bisque fired clay but well bisque fired ceramica but um, it doesn't go on as smoothly. I have a little bit of problems with the, the names because I'm here in Buenos Aires and so I learn all the words in Spanish. So in Spanish it's engobe and in, in uh, English it's underglaze. And so my brain to speak English and to be learning the ceramics in Spanish is like, it's like this right now. So this is the drawing that i wanted to do but this is actually the reverse drawing this is the drawing okay that i'm going to do and i did it multiple ways multiple times and the first thing that i actually had to do so i'm doing two processes the first one is i'm actually just going to transfer this onto the fresh clay um and it's still it's not it's not hard yet and it's still um like but it's it's so it's not leather hard it's not bone dry but it's still it's leather hard so i'm going to transfer this image and i used a pencil that is a charcoal pencil and on top of it i'm going to go in and draw and paint with the underglaze i'm going to go paint um on top so it, this works as a transfer right so here is the girl this is the original uh this is 
a print, whatever, but this is the girl. I put it against the glass and I drew on the back so that when I put it down, I hadn't even thought about it. It's just the first time I did it. I was like, oh, it ended up being good. When I put it down, it's gonna be right side up, which is what I want. So I'm trying it with two of them. But the only difference is that the, in the past, I did it with black and a little bit of color, but I'm gonna try it full color this time, just to paint it in once and for all. So that will be interesting. And the reason I didn't do it last time is because I wanted to see the mix between doing that with pigments once it's bisque fired, but I um, have to bisque fire them. And so this time I said, let me try to do a full piece with, um, with underglaze. So I'm going to get the pieces ready and then we can proceed. My goal is to finish everything today because I did them the other day and I wanted to do it all in the same day, but then I got tired. But then today I'm dedicated my afternoon to doing it now. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the final result. I am so pleased. Oh my God, I love her. I love everything about her. I love the lines. I love the thickness of the lines. I love the yellow, the red, her nails, her pose, her shirt. Oh my God, I just love it. I'm so pleased. At this point, uh, this piece has been bisque fired. So this is the first time that I actually got pieces out of the kiln. I'm like, oh my God. I've, I've just, I, I don't know, like I love ceramics. I love doing this. It's beautiful to me and I'm very happy with the results. Um, I know I did say that I was going to do full color on it, but as I was working on the trays, I was kind of like, I like this. And I also wanted to maybe play with it at this point to see the, the contrast of uh, the, the underglaze before firing it and after firing it. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do at this point, but right now, like this, oof. I love it. I love it. I love it. And look, I even carved my name in the back. Now I have a step, but at the time I did it. So I carved my name. I like the thickness. I like how light she is. I like the size. I just like everything about this one. So I'm very happy with the results. And I want to thank you for following my tiny tray journey. And uh, that's it. So thank you. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.